What's good, everyone? This is your boy, DJ's Raw Uncut Truth, giving you that raw content that you deservedly need. And let's talk about prime time. Deion Sanders, a.k.a. Coach Prime. Put some respect on his name. He has been signed to be the head coach of Jackson State University. Um, shout out to all the HBCUs out there. I know a lot of people don't give you the props but there are some good HBCUs, good academic institutions that get little to no respect. But, but that's okay, though. The people who know the real knows that there's a lot of history in those universities. And it's a blessing to have Deion Sanders as a head coach to grow something uh, that could be potentially impactful not only in the communities but for the players and something that can level the playing field for uh, athletes to enter the NFL draft have free not free but better um, access to those things and Dion has a lot of con connections I can see why this university made this move um but unfortunately, there's been haters all around hating on a brother for doing something different. They're making up lies, talking about he has no coaching experience. He's been coaching youth league, um, high school, 707 leagues. He's been doing it. He had opportunities to coach in the NFL. He had opportunities to coach other co colleges. Turn those down. So he wanted to do something that has a challenge, but something that I believe Dion feels that he can accomplish something. So I'm going to show you the type of hating um, that's been garnered by this man. And it's been unfair criticism. It's really sad. It's coming from our own Bomani Jones who should know better, criticize Deion Sanders. Now, I'm for equal criticism, but when someone is trying to create change in a system in college athletics and do something different and, and, and put a spotlight into HBCUs, this wasn't the time to criticize. And then you have Katie Nolan, a woman who just got dissed by Jason Whitlock, of all people. Head nodding, agreeing to Bamani Jones saying uh, he don't see it going to work and all this stuff. He got Lepitar, you know, agreeing on approval. So I'm going to show you the clip and then I'm going to give my analysis. Put that out there. And with Thank that you. being said, uh, it's not all love. You're going to have critics, too. Our Barmani Jones here at ESPN had some thoughts on your hire. I, I want to play that sound for you and get your reaction. The Deion Sanders has typically been in this for Deion Sanders. And if that's what it's going to be, this is going to fail. This job is going to be hard as hell. The, the institutional problems that you're going to have, the resource shortages and all that stuff, this is not going to be an easy thing for you to do. But if he focuses on the players, then he will be a success. If he focuses on Deion Sanders, he's going to be a failure. And that's going to extend not just to him, but to the school and to HBCUs in general. Deion, talk to me. That means I'm doing the right thing. Trust me, when a hater shows up and raises his hand and raises his voice, that means God knows I'm on the right path. I love it 100%. In a certain way, he, he's talking uh, pointless, pointless rhetoric. Why else would I do this? I'm not in it for me. I live on 150 in a mule, and I'm perfectly happy and, and at peace with my life. This is a God's calling. God called me from Dallas, Texas to Jackson, Mississippi to provoke change. God has called me to Atlanta. He's called me to San Francisco, various places that I've gone. It's always been to provoke change. I'm doing what I've been normally doing for the entire uh, lifespan that I've lived, to provoke change. And that's what I'm going to do at Jackson State University, provoke change. Coach Prime said it right. That's just pointless rhetoric by Bomani Jones. And it's a shame that he did that in front of two 
um, Caucasian fools in Dan Lebertard and Katie Thought Nolan, a woman who constantly dissed brothers. I remember a time she was dissing LeVar, uh, calling him an egomaniac, and he's a horrible father. You know, the same stuff Chris and Leahy did. She was doing that. And not surprising that Bomani and company would talk and diss on Deion Sanders like that. But it is what it is. Unfortunately, that is the reality of this generation. We don't want to see anybody uh, prove or, or have success. We want to hate on someone just because we're not in the position they are. And to say that Deion's doing it for himself, um, he's not getting a $100 million coaching contract like most coaches do to get $20 million a year, like Dabo Sweeney and Nick Saban and company. Uh, I think he's tr truly trying to create something big with the HBCUs, mainly with Jackson State. Um, one thing about Deion Sanders, and this is my opinion, I don't think he's a cloud chaser at all. Of course, he likes to be stylish and flamboyant and um, with swagger, but that doesn't mean you're doing things with cloud when, you, when you're like that. And most importantly, I think he's gonna be really well, mainly due to him believing in the most high. His belief in the most high and as strong as it is, it's going to protect them from haters, from uh, naysayers, and it's going to give them a path uh, to, to winning. Now, I don't know what Jackson State's record is going to be, but I know they're going to put uh, a fun offense, a fun defense, an attacking, aggressive defense. They're going to run that spread, and they're going to have athletes. So I know that for sure. Matter of fact, after Deion Sanders was announced the head coach of Jackson State University, he's already have a FBS transfer that played for Mississippi State. So he's already starting right now. So the, the haters can say what they want, but you, you can't stop a man on a mission. You just can't. And uh, I, I can't wait to see how this goes. And finally, let's talk about black man hater, LeVar Ball, uh, obsessive hater, egotistical feminist, Jamel Hill. She's up in the news again, and she just did the most buffoonish thing imaginable. Now, this is a woman that was caping for Christian Leahy, calling LeVar, a bad human being, saying he's a misogynist and all these, just throwing words at the brother. Here's what, just look what she does. So this shine is, is all about clout now. And I'm not going to show the video because, you know, I don't want this taken down. So... She just talked about her show, Stick to Sports, and she, and at the bottom of this uh, post, she had a lot of strippers and sex workers twerking. And they're talking about get to the polls and this and that. All out buffoonery. This is why the Most High always says to never follow man, meaning human being. Look at the buffoonish stuff. Get your booty to the pole.com where it has nothing but sex workers talking about the rights to vote. Are you kidding me? So you think brothers are just, you know, if you just show some tail, brothers are going to vote? That's stereotyping. And it's a shame when our sisters are stereotyping us as black men to say we are nothing more than um, sex. We're into sex capades and we're, we're obsessed with it. It's, it's, it's really sad and it's buffoonish. 
This is who Jamel Hill is. She'll do anything to move her career up. Um, she pretty much ruined Michael Smith's career, sacrificed his name, and really is Michael Smith's fault as well for always listening to her. He could have been still getting that big contract at ESPN. But she allowed, but he allowed Jamel Hill to act the fool on TV every Friday at the six. Now this broad has strippers and sex workers trying to educate us about voting. But this is y'all queen. <laughs> I always say, not every woman is a queen. That title's got to be earned. And Jamel Hill is definitely not a queen. But y'all listen to her. And she disses black men more than anybody. She was so quick to diss LeVar Ball when LeVar told Christine Leia to, to stay in her lane. Because Christine Leia was questioning a brother's business, his work ethic, and she never does it with any other guest, but she did it with LeVar. Talking about how he's parenting his kids, trying to emasculate a man. And you got Jamel Hill, um, Captain Saver Karen, <laughs> with Chrissy Laird uh, defending her. This is who y'all look up to. But I'm not surprised. All praise to the most high. Love your family. Love your friends. And stay blessed. Have a good day.